What's the difference between a variable torque load and a constant torque load? And how does that factor in when sourcing a BFD? Today, we're covering torque loads and everything you need to know to source the correct motor and VFD for your torque requirements. Hi, I'm Keith from eMotors Direct, your go-to source for industrial motors and VFDs in Canada. Visit eMotorsDirect.ca when you need to source your next motor or VFD. Before we dive into the differences, let's talk about torque. Torque is the rotational force your motor generates to turn a load. The type of load your motor is driving, either variable torque or constant torque, directly impacts its performance, efficiency, and durability. Variable torque loads require less torque at low speeds and significantly more as speed increases. For example, in a centrifugal pump, the torque requirements grow exponentially with speed. Constant torque loads, on the other hand, require the same amount of torque at any speed. Unlike variable torque loads, these applications demand steady turning force, even at lower speeds, meaning torque remains unchanged while horsepower varies linearly with speed. A key point with constant torque loads is that they require a high starting torque, at least 1.5 times the nominal rating to overcome static friction and inertia. This means a VFD designed for constant torque applications must provide a higher starting current and withstand sudden load changes without overheating. So, why does this all matter when choosing a VFD? Your VFD must have an overload rating to match the load. This ensures that the VFD can supply the necessary current to the motor during normal operation at full load. If the VFD's overload current rating is too low, it may overheat, trip due to overcurrent protection, or fail to deliver enough power, especially when the motor operates at full load or is intermittently overloaded. For variable torque loads, the VFD can have a lower overload rating. 120% for one minute because the motor doesn't need to supply as much current at lower speed. The VFD's current handling capability only needs to match a lower torque requirement at lower speeds. For constant torque loads, a VFD should have sufficient current handling capacity at all speeds and needs to have an overload rating of 150% for one minute. So, for example, if your 7.5 horsepower motor is rated for 9.2 amps at 460 volts, and you have a constant torque application, you'll want to ensure the output current of your VFD is more than 9.2 amps. This is usually indicated as max CT current output in the technical section of your data pack. In this example, this Tico A510 is rated for 14.8 amps constant torque and 17.5 amps variable torque, which means you could use it for a 10 horsepower variable torque application because of the reduced overload capacity that is needed. Understanding constant torque and variable torque is key to avoiding motor overload and selecting the correct VFD. Need help selecting the right motor or VFD for your project? Our technical experts are here to guide you. Drop your questions in the comments below or contact our team directly at emotorsdirect.ca. I'm Keith from eMotors Direct. Thanks for tuning in.